it's September 5th, 2021. It's a Sunday. Um, I saw that uh, Farmingdale University, I'm assuming it's a surveillance van, maybe kind of, sort of. I really, I couldn't tell you. I mean, I, it might have come off that I was being snarky the other day, but well, it goes with the territory. It's not just, I don't know who drives it. So I have no way of looking up a New York State driver's license on my own. So you have to remember, the only thing I have at my disposal disposal is this digital camera and a television and then my Rapagel that is not from when my grandfather arrived in New York, but it's his level of technology that he would have had access to. Especially if we went to the library, he could have found himself a map of the world with the labels in English or in Latin, shall we say, since my grandfather was a t Latin Italiano. There's a big distinction and difference. He is what, Beppe went to Latin America in Argentina and Antonin, the only two brothers, the Gemini brothers, um, even though one was a Libra, I do not know what the other one is because I don't have access to my ancestry from Italy. Um, I, I received the grandfather of respect from Italy that went to n North America in New York. Uh, I, got, I received the uh, Libra as my grandfather. Uh, he had an Aquarius wife, and then he gave birth to an Aquarius son, which is that turning of the dial of the antennas might not work right, based on the keyboards of what's going on in people who can fly, which my grandfather took a boat here. He, didn't, he never flew. So um, that happened. So now here is the uh, Air Force. This is the new Air Force that they publicize in Latin America, uh, Latin Italian America being North America, which I am at the moment since I'm in Russia, but the one with the two Z's, not the two S's. So here it says you have a star cut out here. You have AF. It says, if you look here, it says free and it says serve, but then it's got a dot com. I haven't been invited to service of any kind. There was on here, um, here I'll watch you show what the television, what sure. their publicized references are saying. There I'm not represented in this, by the way. Citizen Airmen, and we are there with over 180 different jobs to serve your country. Air Force Reserve. I wasn't represented in that in that commercial. Um, just so you know. There in space. Yes, we are reserves. Oh, hold on. There in space. What the hell? Space. We are reserved. Okay. So if you look here. I'm not represented here. Th how did that get into a family member? If there's only 180 positions in the Air Force, I'm missing out of the Air Force. But I notice this was replaced with my, from my, I mean, my person was withheld from this level service. I wasn't even allowed to join. They never even came and told me there was such a thing or an option. But I see that you hired and you're promoting this. I find that incredibly interesting. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, and Universe at a Spiral Fracture Galactic. I'm pausing this ever so slightly. I'm in Bayside Station, Bayside, New York. 11361, that would be my Mayan calendar carbon copy from Copenhagen, Scandinavian that I did all myself. The Anthony Tiafrio 1975 is just some shit bag that is like toilet paper on my shoe I can't get rid of. I'm pausing this for a moment because I want to go to Face the Nation, which has this 
promoted into a national guard system. I read on the History Channel that the Americans or North Americans are going off of. They say that uh, there was a fight between the U.S., Eisenhower, the feds, and something else in governments of, I can't figure it out, nobody tells the God's honest truth, um, and they were not allowing this color into education systems for a reason. Then somebody overturned it, let them into the education system, and then everything fell apart in schematics uh, and changed. I then, I arrived in 1940, I'm sorry, 1978, and I wasn't even offered this level of service, but I see that you were still promoting this getting ahead or getting into and breaking and entering someone else's system. So if this was my house of safety and security without this, you allowed this to break into my house of safety and security and you put my needs completely three sheets to the wind. I haven't found anything that says Air Force that I even went to an office that said they had National Guard and Air Force, but there was no representative actually in the office, just a card that was taped to the window so I have no way of verifying if they actually exist. There were some posters, though, on the windows. Does that mean they exist? I don't know. I'm pausing this to go find Face the Nation. Okay, it turns out it's Sunday morning. Now, when you ask why 9-11, why were the kids so unprepared? Why did it hit them like a uh, bat out of hell? Hmm. Interesting you should ask that in New York, since I've been in New York my entire life totally being ignored in a sheetrock prison, by the way, with antennas that don't work as my leads. Let's see what they were up to. And now it's a 95-year-old man. He was a veteran. He's 95, and he's still with the same woman. They're in some luxurious nursing home, and they're cared for. And they're, and it turns out that some Deshauna something or other in her second grade class in America wrote this guy a letter, and he still carries it to this day because somebody thought he was really great. Right, okay, but Deshauna wound up getting into the National Guard with writing that old veteran a letter, and now he says on camera that she's like his third granddaughter. Really? What happened to the first two? Oh, you didn't realize I was in a sheetrock prison and she replaced me, and now I have no access to even my own National Guard. I'm just curious, old man who was a veteran, I would expect better. But the antennas in the New York area and the United States of America, they don't seem to work so well since the United States opened in the, well, now how do we tr track the kids? We used to have countrymen kids that had identities, but now with all of this illegal traveling of all the drug children, now they resettle. They're not part of the new country. So now what do we call them? Oh, now we call them the United States kids. Mm, amazing. And how much longer do you think this is going to go on while the astrological timing mechanism and time dilation is contorting and crushing on one another? Because the energy pod, actual spiritual civilization, is not doing this and not coming back. Your human species is not worth it. That's for sure. They've already guaranteed their exit. Oh, thank you. Oh, let's do the human thing that I fucking hate so much. Now you'll know why. In Strongsville, Ohio, 95-year-old Frank Grassberger sits on a treasure. Literally sits. In fact, Frank says, He's such a treasure, right bless his heart. Right, yeah, to him not so much. This note, which he carries everywhere. I'd never be without it. Why did it matter so much that you have it with you all the time? Because it's something It's actually his only proof to cover his ass. Touch. When he has that letter with him, he has a feeling of faith and trust and love. 
To understand how a letter can do all that, you first need to know that Frank is a World War II veteran. And back in 2009, a third grader wrote to thank him for his service. If it wasn't for you, we would never have freedom. I'm so happy you made sacrifices. You're... Oh my God, you made sacrifices. You also wrote letters of recommendation for children that were not allowed in the armed service, which as a World War II veteran, you knew what we were up against for your own grandchildren and so on and so forth. So I don't understand why that name, you could have very easily gone to VFW after you received this and you could have started a motion to protect the white kids. Just curious, whatever happened to that? as obligations, and so on and so forth. Your friend, Deshauna Priest. To Frank, that simple thank you came to symbolize a life well served. I'm tickled that, that I have a letter like this. He wanted to thank the author. We never could find her. He says, before I close my eyes, I, I, I have to find her. I have to find her. Couldn't find her or just didn't report what was coming in after he found out the results of what was sending him the letter and looking for a recommendation. I'm just curious. Finder. Just about everyone who works here was well aware of Frank's attachment to that letter and his decade-long desire to find the letter. So now we have cooperation. So the staff <laughs> did some sleuthing. Oh, that's so good. Protect their own asses. Deshauna is now 21. <laughs> she vividly remembers writing the letter as a school assignment. She's 21. I'm 43. I never got to write to service members. I got a pen pal in Russia once through Cold Spring Harbor, the local elementary school in the state of New York. I got to write to Russia. They got to write me back. And then I could confirm with the school and the authorities that the mail system did work at that time in 1980s during the Cold War. Federal system and the U.S. Post were working together to deliver one girl a letter. Right, that was confirmed. What I don't understand is this is 21. Benjamin's 21, my first son. The first entry into the system, which is a Libra, which is an Aquarius problem with the antenna and dialing in to the wrong set of circumstances at mainframe assignment because she so admired people in uniform. It's like, wow. I, I get to write to a vet. Yeah. <laughs> so it was like an honor. Yeah. An honor that continued. So here she is. When Deshauna surprised Frank Hello. in her... Look at this. My children don't have the same kind of understanding because I have no idea. There's been no education of the locals of what this means. Her National Guard uniform. A National Guard. That's what they're considering since 1999. That means she had to have been born in 1999 since I'm 43 and she's 21. My son Benjamin's 21. Born in 1999. He does not have any understanding of what a National Guard does. I mean, he went, he joined ROTC. He was really, really excited about being a service member. He really was. He joined at Patrick... Uh, Michael Murphy, Navy SEAL that died, that has a Patchogue High School dedicated to him in Long Island. Um, what in the zip codes one one seven seven two? It's verifiable. He went there. Um, he joined ROTC immediately. The I believe he said there was a colonel there. He promoted Benjamin as a freshman to be the lead because. He saw something, I'm, I'm assuming. But then all of a sudden, like that, Benjamin changed. He was so excited for it. He so wanted it. He had such zeal for it. And then all of a sudden, one day he came home, and he was just like, I can't go in. I can't do this anymore. I'm like, what do you mean you can't do it anymore? And he's like, I have to give the uniform back. And I'm like, you have to give the uniform back? For what reason? He would not speak of why he could no longer wear the uniform and why he had to give it back. And he gave it back in a garbage bag, no less. I'm like, I would have folded it. I would have had it cleaned. Like, I have responsibilities, Ben. You can't just hand it in in a garbage bag. I was like, do you know what the guy's going to say? I was, like, I, I, I was like, I don't even know what his name is. Ben was just like, forget it. He's like, I already did it. 
And I was like, well, did you have a conversation with him? Did you at least tell him why? Then it was like, don't worry about it. He's like, I took care of it. I'm like, uh, all right. Strangest, strangest turn on a dime I've ever seen out of my son. And when she stood next to me, it just took my breath away. It really did. I thought, where's his heart pills? Because I thought, oh, this is it. This is the big one. I'm telling you, this is a godsend. It really is. Fortunately, She's the godsend? <laughs> I don't think so. And may never return to its original size. Mm -hmm. So this is the beginning of something. Yeah, a friendship. <laughs> a big problem. Family, not friendship. <laughs> There's love there, deep down in the heart. She like my third daughter. She really is. It started with a lot of love and affection, and it's ending the same way. Who knew a simple thank you? That would work complete. if they stayed out of the lattice work of founders and the health, safety, and welfare at the insurance company. Unfortunately, I'm having even bigger health problems myself on electrolytes, on thrombosis, on anemia, on all sorts of medical front, and I'm not even part of the insurance company. I'm supposed to be private house based on the cosmological and physical nature of where I was born in the Zodiac and what you had planned for totally ignoring me in silence the entire time as I try to search for something respectful to do with my time and to be able to afford myself so I don't become a burden of something else. People everywhere living. And this is the state of the nation through the eyes of another program we were just watching CBS News Sunday morning, like a segue of like all like the nice touchy feely stuff. And then it goes to face the nation, which is more of like the political arena of like the battlefield of like, where are we now? To kill a mockingbird. Mm, that wasn't gonna work out well. School was it? time. Jane in Washington. Oh, and whatever this is, I put up this morning. <laughs> They're still here. Oh my god. The base. They opened up in the basement of an Italian grocer. Wow. They're really cooking thick slices of bacon. I'm just letting you know that the astronaut guys. They somehow, somewhere in equipment sales, sold her relatives somewhere in New York in something called a Chinatown, some laboratory test equipment that the astronauts used. Um, it normally was for cooking up big chemicals and big drugs and also samples, <laughs> right, for the kids that they were training. Well, somehow they made it into New York City and they opened restaurants with the same equipment. So this way they had a legal leg to stand on somewhere between the old country and this new United States that opened up with confusing for everybody with how time and space works and what do we do with all the illegal criminals and they swear they're doing honest work. Yeah, well, how are you going to do all those inspections on all the kitchens throughout New York City with all of that possibility of serving food during the day and cooking up drugs at night since it's 24-hour city. <laughs> right, yeah, did any of you, uh, anything, ever think of that? Just curious. Because they already have the equipment from the 1930s and 40s when it went missing and was already on file as an illegal sale. Now their kids think they have some kind of judicial foot or stake in the ground they have the equipment already here <laughs> they just keep calling over like like rover rover send over next gens right how are you ever going to fix this thing you call a country all area dumb fucking useless i'm just curious Here's, here's what the country you created looks like. The nation. Americans may be more than willing to turn the page on what's been a sobering summer. 
Back to school time brings new concerns about COVID, and the questions are more urgent and pointed. When will children be eligible for vaccines? When will boosters be available? And when... Now, why, when you open yourself a laboratory test kitchen, you're calling it a restaurant, you're buying all sorts of astronomical equipment illegally, and then opening up even bigger illegal occupations. Uh, I'm just curious how you wanted to work that synthetic drug and the natural drug, right? Because now they're just buying chemicals and making some stuff I hear called crack, some smack, some... Molly's some um, old UK Ultra or old, I don't know, i not up with the kid's jargon, but if I ask Anthony, he's got a wealth of information of useless trivia shit that, trivial, <laughs> that's what we used to call it, now it's trivia, of like crime fighting, they do become useful at some point since they were all left behind, as was I. And will the pandemic ever end? We'll check in with Dr. Anthony Fauci. And in the I don't know the guy. Of Never Ida, spoke to him. Legacy be a wake up call on both climate change and the need for boosting America's infrastructure. We need to be prepared for the next hurricane, and superstorms are going to come, and they're going to come more frequently and more ferociously. We'll talk with the leaders in the two. Oh, states look at that weather pattern. Northeast. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy and Cynthia Lee Shang, president of Louisiana's Jefferson Parish. Wait a minute. What's a parish and why is this in charge of parish work? I'm just curious. I got a National Guard that's letting in uh, problems that were already known with Brown versus the Board of Education. I've got a whole new sector of just fell out of vaginas, never got a proper education, or parents that knew how to guide them or mentor them in the correct anything. I've got people that they claim, I mean, I see really handsome, really handsome possible husbands of wish they were home somewhere and or I was with them, walking around in uniforms with guns and they're fighting something, nobody ever knows what. And then they, I see that they got amputees and all sorts of things in some kind of a hospital unit. I'm like, um... Who the hell's running the framework in the show? Just curious. Plus, the Texas anti-abortion law is now the strictest in the country. After the U.S. Supreme Court... Why do you think the communication the standard is so bad across all the framework? Lines. I'm just Texas, curious. Oh, Veronica S by the way, my Italian Latino aunt... I have two that are living. One of them told me a secret when I was little that you don't speak of out of the house when I went to go visit her once. Um, and I have kept her secret to this day. I haven't told Linda, I haven't told Lou, and I have no reason to tell anybody else because nobody else on the planet would listen or care. But I know it's important to her that I kept the secret, so... Mission accomplished on keeping one secret of one relative until the grave. Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Cateruza. It's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361, and it is September 5th, 2021. That's Century 20, Decade 2, plus one year.